One day a boy goes to a sage and asks why some people are lucky and some are unlucky. When sage asks him who are lucky and who are unlucky, the boy says, Some people have to bear many responsibilities in their life. These are unlucky. Some people live without more responsibilities in their life. These are so lucky. And what if we don't have any responsibility in life? Sage smiles and asks, Why? What is the problem with responsibility? Because responsibility is a big problem. It gives us pain in life. Boy says, Sage says, Just now I have written a short story. I would like to tell you now. Once upon a time, there were two trees in a land. Tree A and Tree B. Tree A was thin and had small branches. Tree B was broad, had big branches and many leaves. One day a person came and sat under Tree A. Some people were coming and sitting under Tree B. Tree B thought, God is so unfair to me. Tree A has small branches. Because of small branches and less leaves, it is bearing less weight. Too much of load is not acting on it like mine. It is so lucky. Tree B prayed God. God appeared. It said, God, why did you give me these many big branches and lot of leaves? Look at tree A. It is bearing light load. God said, Yes, but your responsibility is bigger. You get more happiness than tree A. No, I don't like responsibility at all. I want to get rid of all these responsibilities in my life, said tree B. Okay, as per your wish, I will free you from all responsibilities, said God. All its leaves were gone. People started moving to another place. First two days it felt comfortable and relaxed. Slowly its branches were becoming tiny. It was not producing any leaves and branches. When people were not coming to take shelter under it, it felt lonely. It was undergoing a lot of pain. It was about to die. It cried a lot and prayed God again. When God appeared, it said, God, what is happening? What a disastrous life. Why am I suffering like this? I am now about to die. God said, You said you don't want to bear any responsibility. It means there is no purpose of you. If you don't have any purpose, how can you be here? Now you are not working, so there are no people around you. It was weeping after realization. God said, You saw the small branches of tree A and compared them with your branches. Okay, but why don't you realize that your stem is bigger than tree A stem? You must understand that everyone are given the responsibilities according to their capacity. I am not unfair to anyone. Second point is, no responsibility, no work. No work, no people. No people, no happiness. If no happiness, then you will undergo the greatest suffering in life. One thing you must understand that with happiness, we can bear any pain in this world. Once remember how many people were sheltered under you. Some people were reading books, some were discussing and one was sleeping. Now look at how many people are there under tree A. One person. Who was helping more people? Who get more happiness? Who was lucky? Tree B realized and asked God a chance to get back to its normal life again. It felt much happier by looking the people who were coming to take shelter under it again. While Sage is concluding the story, it starts raining. Boy immediately runs to take shelter under the tree. First lesson is, we see others and think God gave them smaller responsibility and we are given bigger responsibility. But we must realize that if we have bigger responsibility, it means we have greater capacity to bear it. God is not unfair. Second lesson is, if you have bigger responsibility, you get more happiness.